Hey guys, and welcome back to Latasha Hewitt Homes. On this channel, we talk about all things home, home decorating, organizing, a little bit of life in between. Uh, if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We'd appreciate it. And in anticipation, go ahead and like this video. It actually comes as a suggestion from one of you, one of the viewers uh, who watched my organization of our deep freezer. And uh, she commented recently and said, how is the, will you give us an update on how the organization is going? And so I said, you know what? That's a great challenge. That's something I've actually thought about doing, but hadn't done before. Um, so this is my first time going back to a previous organization uh, project and seeing how it's been maintained. So if you're interested in seeing how our deep freezer organization system is going, stay tuned. All right, guys, so here we are about to open up our deep freezer to see how it looks several months after the initial organization system was created. Just so you can have an idea of the size. So this is the washing machine that's right here beside it. So I don't know if that gives you an idea of the size. This is the Hot Point brand. Got this from Lowe's, I believe. All right, so let's see how well have we done. All right, <laughs> so here's where we are. Okay, so hmm, I don't know about that, but anyway, let's see. So um, as we remember, I created these Dollar Tree bins. They're stackable, and um, I put different things based on the category in them. So I think I shared last time that this is primarily um, used for my husband. Uh, who gets goodies from mom, Jamaican goodies from mom. And so sometimes when he goes to visit her, he comes back with these items and he places them in a bin, but I'm not quite sure if they're organized in any particular way. So the concept is still very much in place, but because I personally have not been putting things in here, things are kind of all over the place. So I would want to look at rearranging this because we have a lot of like Jamaican beef patties and we have a cocoa bread. So I'd love to put all of these together in one bin. Oh, here's some veggie hot dogs. These are actually belong to me. Um, so just get this back in shape. It will be pretty easy, which is the beauty of this system is that with the bins, it helps you categorize things quickly and organize them in a way that makes it easier. So I'm going to move all of the patties over here. I'm going to put all the cocoa bread, which are frozen individually, because you usually eat one with each one of those. So I'm going to take all the individual ones and put them in a bin, just so. Um, then we have the mackerel. So I'm going to put that over here for now. Um, this is Aki. So, like before, we're going to have a bin just for like, the meat. We have a bin for the rice. Let's see what this is. Oh, wow, these are these are actually veggie, um, like the Beyond Burger. So, I didn't even know those were in there. See, that's what happens. Um, we don't go in here for a while. So these bins are relatively small. Um, so they're great for smaller things. So I'm still going to see if I can organize putting the patties in there. Um, so let's, let's take the patties because it's going to make sense for, oh, actually, these are like peppers. Oh, is that? I can't tell what this is, to be honest with you. <laughs> but anyway, I do know what the patties are. Um, so we're going to take those and just put them all in this one bin. So my husband loves Jamaican patties. Beef patties. So definitely keep them. Uh-oh. 
<laughs> avalanche. This moves, so as I was putting things down, it was moving. I'm actually going to utilize the top of the washing machine to kind of give me some more working space because I have a couple more of these patties here. So I'm going to fold that over in this bin here. And then we're gonna see what else we have. So these are the rices. These are the meats. These appear to be like an assortment of like peppers, saute peppers. Oh, here is some more vegetarian. So what I probably would do is move these over to the main freezer um, because we do eat those pretty regularly. Um, and this is our veggie stuff. So you remember last time we tried to separate the veggie products so that it's easier but as you can see everything is still in a bin i'm not sure if i really communicated the system to my husband to maintain but <laughs> it's still better than everything kind of being piled on top of each other as it was before there's also like extra ice packs in here yeah so needless to say <laughs> After my initial organization of this, I had kind of left it up to my husband to to keep his things in. So I'm not blaming him, but like I said, maybe not the same system. Um, so like I said, we're going to take everything out for right now so we can come up with a strategy for how we're going to organize it. So once again, I wanna say thank you to Jennifer who asked for an update. Now this is able to be sustained. Um, like I said, it's one of those situations where I created the organizational system, but I'm not the one who <laughs> utilizes this the most. Uh, I think these need to be tossed. So, um, kind of just sharing with hubby the system and why it works, I think will help us maintain this better. So um, we have that up here. There's a little shelf to put things on. So I have a cocoa bread. Um, but I'm thinking this is like extra ice. And put that over here on the little shelf. Um, looks like some stuff has spilled, so we're going to take an opportunity to wipe that up real quick, and then we'll reorganize things um, as we have them now. All right, guys, we're back. So we wiped down the bottom. So these are the stackables. Um, it only works well when you don't have something that is too tall um, in them. In other words, it can fit in here and leave enough room for the next shelf. So because we feel like, I feel like we do have a lot of patties, <laughs> um, patties for days, I want to maybe try putting the patties, two, two things of patties together. Um, I think that was one of the larger ones. And then bringing in this one. Oops. So there we go. Because we definitely want to utilize the one that has the less, least amount in it. So that'll be our patty stack. And then we have the cocoa bread right there. So that makes it easy to grab a patty, grab uh, one of the cocoa bread. This um, is in its own box, so we can actually stick that back here. Makes it easy to find. Um, and then let's look at what we have in here. Because things have gotten mixed up. Like these are the veggies. We tend to keep that stuff right up here. This is the vegetarian. I'm going to actually put that back there. But this appears to be, I think we had this before, the rice. Uh-oh, no, we got some meat in here. We got meat. I'm trying to decide, okay. 
This looks like acne. Okay, so this is kind of a combination of meat and rice. Then we can add um, the ackee. Just turn it around. Um, we also have some veggies. Put this to the side. Those are like veggies, and these are veggies as well. So I'm gonna put those in here. Trying to make sure it's in. all right. Let's nestle down there. Um, this is the mackerel. Um, these are the vegetarian hot dogs. So we'll keep that up here. I don't know what this is. We're gonna throw it out. Um, Again, I'll probably we'll go ahead and move this to the main freezer now because we don't have any of these in the main refrigerator freezer. So I'm going to take that out of here. And now we can see a little bit better what we're working with. So these are all the peppers and stuff like that. The cheese. Um, this looks like... See, that's the thing. I don't always recognize <laughs> when these things are, but my husband does, so I feel like I always keep like the peppers up here, like easy grab items up here. The cheese. Um, this is all the cocoa bread. These are the veggie um, burgers. And that's why sometimes it's good to just check out the freezer when you haven't been there in a while. So those are the turkey burgers, and then those are the veggie burgers. I'm okay with them kind of being right here. And this is uh, meat bin. <laughs> so once again, like I said, I'll have to let hus husby, husby, husband know about um, this process. So it makes it easier for him to go right into the freezer. So uh, we have meat and rice in here. We have veggies here. We have two layers of the beef patty and then we have the um, cocoa bread so as these go down um you're able to put a few more things in them and stack them even more um i have extra bins but i try not to just put bins in here just for the sake of bins um, and it keeps the capacity in a manageable state so i like that so Thank you, Jennifer, once again, for asking how it was going. Um, it actually stayed in that state for a while. But like I said, <laughs> as my husband um, eats and then replenishes, sometimes it's a matter of just throwing in there real quick and not really paying attention to the organiza organization side of it. But having the bins actually does give him a place to dump it. Um, my goal would be to just come behind and make sure like is with like, so it's even easier for him when he comes to pull things out of the freezer. So like I said, we got our beef patties here and our cocoa bread. It makes it very easy for him to open up, grab this, grab that, and go. All right, so hopefully it's a system that um, we can continue to maintain. Um, now, as you can see, this is still very, we're still dealing with very shallow pieces. It is possible um, when you have more things to stack like things on top of each other and it's not an issue because you know what as the bottom is the same thing as the top that you can just keep replenishing but I like to keep it pretty low um, I don't like too many things even though it's in the freezer just because sometimes things get lost and you forget you have them so all right guys so there you have it not too bad i mean if i was going to give myself a grade in terms of how well the organization was kept up in here i would say it's a strong seven and the reason i say that is because i like i said i wasn't really checking in on the system regularly i didn't really update my husband on the methodology that i used and when he was primarily the one utilizing it so other than that i am still very pleased with how organized it is and how easy it is to find whatever it is that you're looking for. So 
thank you so much for recommending that I go back and give an update on how it's going. Um, <laughs> we'll see. We'll do some more of these revisiting of uh, our organizational systems throughout the house to see how how much it can be maintained. Because it's one thing to do it that one time, but the upkeep, that's a whole nother story. Anyway, thanks for watching. Once again, don't forget to like this video if you haven't already. I appreciate it if you would subscribe. All right, guys, see you in the next one. Take care and keep organizing.